We are live. Welcome to Willow Season 1, Episode 4. Thoughts. This episode is called The Whispers of Nokmar. So, spoilers for... It's, yeah, Willow the movie and all of the, you know, the first four episodes. Now, the... Yeah, so... I like that before the recap starts... Borman asks for a, a recap. That was, yeah, <laughs> getting a real Necronomicon vibe from the book. That it, I, I, I think at this point they are just every episode will open with a book opening. I hope they don't get so self-aware that one of them will be the Shrek one. But yeah, and let's see. Yeah, and, and, you know, Bev Morda's spirit. Yeah, you thought your grandma was bad. And Elora makes a joke, and Graydon throws up, which can't be good for her self-esteem. And they talk about, you know, killing Graydon, and will, will that, you know, bring the two kingdoms into war? And I really like Borman's, you know, joke about, you should put that in your wedding vows. And Elora points out if Kit wants Graydon dead so bad, maybe she should have to kill him herself. And we get some Bevmorda backstory. And I, I like the bit where they So, all of them turned into pigs. And you turned all of them back to humans? I, th I think so. And then they spit out the... Because just in case, you know, you don't want to be... Yeah, I'm hoping that the kids watching don't get that joke, because that's, that's pretty dark for something that's supposedly, like, kids could be, be watching, so, yeah. I like the bit with, you know, what kind of fluids? You know, pause the... You know what? Surprise me. You gotta be careful telling a, you know... Just FYI, young women, be careful about telling men to surprise you with their, their our fluids. That's not necessarily going to go well. I quite like, you know, Kit tries to talk to Jade about, you know, her killing um, Valentine. I really like that it examines the trauma, which, you know, we've had so much media that pretends that killing is fun and it's a great solution to your problems and it's i i really appreciate that we're you know because now we know it has been documented psychologically speaking it really it can really mess you up i do not speak from experience to to kill someone right and i liked you know the the thing with the fluids and you know how contagious is it and and you know yeah, Willow says, don't eat it. And and Elora looks like she just, you know, found out that... Like she just got some bad news from the doctor or something. Why would we eat it? <laughs> she has a point. I, it, Willow, you can leave that one out the next time you're, you're warning people. And I like that at first we're not sure if Borman was able to open the door, was completely seduced by... The voice, the whispers of Nokmar. And. Let's see. Yeah, and, and Kit and Elora Dannon still don't get along, and. Let's see. Yeah, I, I quite like Kit and Borman together, as you, you know, she's looking for. Um, was it the, the bladder thing? And, you know, the. the Ah, what was the thing? Um, yeah, yeah, you know, she's like, Borman, are you plundering my grandma, my, yeah, my grandma's old castle? <laughs> no, of, co of course not. Is it? I don't care if you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100% I am. And, you know, she finds the, the creature and she's like, I'm never going to hear the end of this. <laughs> Let's see. 
And it's one of those things, like, you can kind of understand both. Like, Elora, I'm guessing is right. Like, if you boil the bladder, you can get essence of the thing that they, you know. But the Kit is like, they're not going to have a dead, you know, I, I forget what it was, a rat thing in the kitchen, you know, just, yeah. I like that even as Graydon is lying there and just barely, you know, he still helps Elora with the pronunciation, and he imagines his dad and brother, I think, present. And Kit gets so spooked that she drops the jar, so now she has to, you know, carry it by its tail, which, uh, it was already pretty nasty that this, yeah... And the door opens in front of her. Do, do you see anything? No. Um, Jade, open your eyes. Oh, hi, Borman. And Borman talks to Jade about the, the you know, Valentine and, yeah, you know, the... the yeah, she she gets emotional and and you know and he's like, everyone deserves one good cry per quest. Okay, it happened one time. I couldn't figure out the key bindings. Let's just move on. And Graydon is possessed and calls Willow a peck like Valentine, and and apparently channels Eric, but supposedly it's not really him. But you know, I really appreciate that so far in this mini, you know. Yeah, ser miniseries series, the only people who have used the term peck are the evil ones when possessed. Like, I can't help but wonder, you know, and, and we already, we have this very diverse cast. Are they, like, saying that, you know, even, I, I suppose, I, I was going to say even casual, but we still don't, I mean, for all we know, peck is, like, the n-word for for Nelwyn so but but yeah you know I feel like maybe the show is trying to imply that using racist terminology is just plain evil so yeah more please that's exactly right I hate you door we're fine we're fine you know, just in case. I mean, what if the door is sentient and would be upset at him saying he hates it? And Elora blames herself for the deaths of the Axe Women, and Kit tries to tell her that the spell worked. And Jade fights Kale. Cool. In in general, I quite like how the the past and the present kind of you know, it's it's like a the the barrier between the two is open, and there's a little bit of, you know, there's the, there's a there's a little bit of mixing because Elora sees her mother in the past dying, you know, about to have her head cut off, and her mother sees Elora, and and I mean, as far as I could tell, she was basically looking at where Elora was. So, and I mean, yeah, I did did we know that? That she, that she believed she saw her daughter. I, I think that's new. I, I, it's been months since I last watched the movie, and I'm not sure I've watched it more than the two times. But yeah, I feel like that's new. That's that is legitimately nice to know that that before she died, she, you know, she was certain that her daughter would legitimately save the world. And you know, yeah, the the. The, the sword comes down to, to chop the, the head off. You know, I, I appreciate Elora's passion in, in response to that, but I, I, th I think you need to, like, re reload a checkpoint save and just straight up try again. It, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the head chopping off was, like, the, the fantasy quest equivalent of a game over screen. And... Let's see... Yeah, I like, you know, 
Jade and Kit don't know who's trying to get through the door, so Kit, like, lowers her voice. Who is this? It's just... This is pretty... Yeah. And, and Jade, like, describes in detail the kind of weapons that she kind of wishes they had, but... You know, you you have to do very well at the card game crap. I don't remember what they call it. Anyway, um, and, you know, they're, they're like, how can we be sure it's really you, Borman? And, and he's like, you know, oh, you know, my, my aroma and my singing voice. Tell us something only the real Borman would know. You two have the hots for each other, and they're like immediately they they you know they they try to walk to to like look as like they they absolutely don't, and they're like no we don't we absolutely absolutely not you know because uh just yeah. And Graydon claims that Willow has become a lich, <laughs> and I like the thing with it has to be one of you. Because you are the only two that I have been intimately close with. And then both of them are like, when, when were you intimately close with Borman? And it's like, you know, yeah, they're totally not into each other. That's an absolutely normal question for someone who's only platonically, yeah. And I, you know, we, we see that Graydon was indeed luring Elora away. And I like that Willow's like, you are the worst. What was the one thing I said? You know, you are the worst apprentice ever. And, you know, yeah, the, the, all the sores, great makeup job. I really like the makeup job on this show for when someone is evil and possessed and that kind of thing. They are really knocking it out the park. And, yeah, just all these sores and, and nasty, just, yeah. Let's see. And, you know, Elora finds out Willow just used the old disappearing pink trick. And, I, you know, Borman punches Graydon over and over. You know, and he's like, come on, get, get out of, you know, come on, spirit, get out of Graydon or something like that. And Kit does legitimately try to help Elora, and you know I, I really appreciate. I I still do think that her character. Maybe I'll change my mind, but so far, just you know, yeah, okay, she has a chip on her shoulder, but you know, she lost her father, and she does feel like her father cared more about Elora Dannon than his own flesh and blood, and that is, you know, legitimate. Yeah. And and again, you know, still the the other characters like you know, Jade dresses it up, dresses it up, and says, "With all due respect, Your Majesty, no shit." You know, they're they're still talking to her the way that they would talk, the, the way that they talk to each other. They're not treating her different for being royalty. But yeah, you know, Kit reveals what she what she learned about the 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 spell. You know, and. She tells Elora, I saw your bush, which excites both of them. And, you know, I was going to make this joke anyway, but then literally, like, you know, Elora goes up to Graydon and swallows his soul possession and sees his past and, yeah, like the... the uh, again, like, I feel like someone working on this was determined to fit in that reference. Because it's just, it's too good. You you gotta have that in there. And we see the crone giving orders to the others. Take the girl, kill the others. And Eric apparently escapes, I guess. And we get yet another pop song that fits what is... Yeah. Whoa, there we go. Autofocus. Yeah, um, yeah, yet again, fits what is going on. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate that. Um, let's see. I think that was everything. I'm, I'm glad that the, the crone, it's, I suppose the, yeah, the, the, the creatures working for the crone 
did not make more of an appearance in this episode. I really feel like it worked extremely well. I mean, it is essentially, it. you know, if you want to, arguably, it's maybe cheesy. It is essentially a Haunted House episode, you know, yeah, Haunted House bottle episode. But I felt like it worked, you know, and... Yeah, I'm not sure that General Kale, it might just have been, like, fan service. I'm not sure there's going to be something more there, because, like, Ballantyne doesn't have anything to do with, with Kale, nor does... I don't know, I guess it's possible that Jade and Kale have some kind of relation, but, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, it was nice to see Kit, you know warm up to Elora and I I think it was uh, what's the word I don't think they waited too long to, to go there we got to remember we only learned that Dove was Elora Dannon at the end of episode one so all of episode two and three you know, Kit doesn't really like Elora, and then at the, you know, and, and in this one still, she, she struggles with it, but over the course of this episode, she does come to, she is able to, to tell Elora, you really are Elora Dan, and, you know, I trust you, which is not easy for, for Kit. I'm, I'm not saying she said the words, I trust you, I'm saying she's, not exactly an open book. She does not like letting people get close to her. So the fact that she told Elora... I mean, I mean, essentially, her telling Elora that she really is Elora Dan, and that's basically her saying, I was wrong. You know, you really are the this this amazing person, and I think you can help us. You know, she she might not use those exact words, but that is what she said. I, I mean, there's some chance that Elora is going to, you know, really get on her for, for this and, like, tell her over and over, you know, you kept saying that I wasn't really Elora, you know. So, yeah. Um, I quite liked, you know, um, Jade straight up told Kit... You don't know what it's like to kill someone unless you kill someone, you know. So, so don't don't tell me you understand. Don't tell me that you can relate. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I still think they do a good job mixing humor and horror and just, you know, yeah, fantasy stuff with, the, you know, they're, they're, Graydon has been possessed, so they, they have to, you know, get, they, they have to make this, did they call it a salve or something like that? And, you know, there are, there's a, there are hauntings in this castle and just, yeah, I, I really, I think it was the exact right way to handle Bavmorda's castle. I would not have liked if they got there and they were like, Troops that were still that that wanted to defend the castle from them, and they have to do a regular battle. Which, you know, there was some regular battle stuff in last episode when they were fighting Ballantine and the other possessed. You know, so yeah, I appreciate that they made that choice. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I so, so yeah, I guess we're halfway. We're we're just past the halfway point now of the season, and yeah. I'm I'm excited to see the the next locations, the next you know parts of the quests quest, and yeah, um, I gotta say there were times in this episode where I thought that Borman might end up like just turning on them and them having to kill him. I'm glad that didn't happen. I really enjoy his character. Um, the, the energy he brings to the, the proceed, like, literally everyone other than him is trying to help Graydon, and he's trying to get into the treasure, you know, and he's like, he, he goes around telling people, I can't believe I can't get through this door, I usually am able to get through any door, I can get any treasure I want, 
and here's one that I can't, I, I, I can't believe, you know, while the others are like, do you think this will cause a war between the kingdoms? Oh, we have to, you know, save him or possibly kill him because he might turn so evil that we can't overpower him. And, and Borman's just like, uh, what haven't I, okay, brainstorm, what haven't I already tried in order to get into this, you know, and he just straight up, like, he accuses them, and they get, you know, they get their swords out, and he's still like, okay, look, maybe I overreacted, in my defense, it has to be one of you two, you must have stolen something from me, the thief, and I, I just, this is, I'm not gonna let this go, okay, I'm not gonna let it go, you stole from me, that's not cool, just, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying the, the character, and just, the, the dynamics between all the characters, really. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to next week's episode. And yeah, there will be uh, at least one more video this week. So stay tuned for that. And I will catch you at some point.